they have, I think if it's not this one and they uh, have that's, that's a tricky play that we have seen so, from so many teams. I like it. I like it. It allows you to control so much mid in general. The problem is that when you do this kind of play, what you try to do is you try to push people into your um, position on mid, right? Because this player is controlling this angle here. This entirety is controlled by the jet player. And the problem is, if your opponents are playing A, you need enough stopping power for them to go back. Because what you try to achieve is put enough pressure to make them rotate into this player. And if this player is controlling this and has no contact, that means that either five players are here or five players are here. And if there's five players on B, it's not a problem because this, this jet can just still sit here and try to get a kill. But if it's five players on A, then this jet is useless unless you have enough pressure on A side to stop the push. So what I really dislike about this this current setup is that because of the fact that the the sage needs to help the jet player here and sova uses actually the arrow here for no reason at all they have no pressure over a so this team will just push on a will not wait will not be stopped because there's nothing to stop them from planting and then this position from jet is basically useless right because this Rainer just, what, leers twice? And that's it? Unless he gets two kills, there's no way that this jet is going to become useful. What I would do myself, an example, to make this a better round for the team to have like better fundaments to play for this kind of jet position here is like this. Viper goes at the beginning of the round and sets up a retake wall on A, which is also a coincident, a wall that can stop a push. Then, because of this jet already taking control of mid, you don't need this arrow. So you use the arrow instantly on A, right? And then you can, in example, drawn again to push them off away. Or you instantly uh, arrow and then go insta here to drone and try to pressure them off. But you essentially need this viper wall here to make certain that your opponents will not feel comfortable to push on site. And because of that, you will be able to pay dividends by having this jet controlling mid because if the team in a side will feel uncomfortable about going onto the site and they will be stopped because of the amount of utility the viper wall uh the sova drone the leaves from reina and the sage most likely rotating fast to a so there's gonna be also slows then this entire team will go tup, 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 go back into mid into the jet and that jet gets a free kill for sure because no one expects this position from this jet this is like a reverse lurk when you need to apply pressure to put your opponents into you while if you're lurking your team applies pressure to make other people rotate off so it creates space for the one player that has like a crucial ro role in map control so let's see if this actually works out for for secret so he is actually droning so that's wait wait, wait. no 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 he's not now he is he just started so they apply this pressure, right? There's a laner here. Shock darts as well. Okay. But they're still not backing off. There's not enough pressure. That's what I meant, see? They just lost a player on the side here. So, this entire setup for Jet didn't achieve anything. You know? And that's what I meant. I am 100% certain if there would be a Viper wall on site, they would have not come here and rotate off. Thank you for watching. We're going to see each other during the next video, which will be coming up soon. You know what to do. You, you, you can leave a comment and stuff like that. I'm not going to try to convince you. But if you would like to have a conversation with me, you can leave a comment. I will definitely answer.